The cafeteria is a place for eating. All the students in this cafeteria are using their appropriate level voices. They are talking in a whispering voice or a normal talking voice. As you can see, the cafeteria is very quiet. In the cafeteria, we have four rules. Rule number one. In the cafeteria, you need to use your inside voice. That is a normal talking voice or a whispering voice like this. These are students who are using their appropriate voice level. Can you hear how quiet it is in the cafeteria? All students are eating their healthy fruits and vegetables. Look, she's eating her orange. Look, they're eating their sandwiches. They're drinking their milk. And they're using their appropriate voice level. Doesn't it sound nice? Rule number two, put your tummy to the table. As you can see, here are students with their tummies to their table. Their stomach is all the way up to the table and they are eating their food. They're not yelling to the people across the lunchroom. They're sitting quietly. Listen to the nice, quiet cafeteria. All students with their stomach to the table following all the cafeteria rules. Rule number three, stay in your seat and raise your hand. As you can see, these students know how to raise their hands in the cafeteria. One student needs help. She needs to use the restroom. So she looks over at the door. And she sees if there's two people in line. Shay noticed that there were two students already standing in the bathroom line. In the bathroom, there can only be two students in line at a time. Remember to wash your hands, get in the bathroom, and then go out. If you notice two people in line, don't raise your hand. Ready? This student is opening his milk on his own. A big student always tries to do things on their own first. And then if you can't do it on your own, you can raise your hand. But always try to do it on your own first because you're a big kid. Rule number four, in the cafeteria, keep your hands and your feet to yourself. In the cafeteria, always keep your hands and your feet to yourself. Look at these two students deciding to follow the rules. They're keeping their hands to their self. When it's your time to get up and leave the cafeteria, Remember to stay in your spot. Do not pass the person in front of you. And be very careful not to drop your food on the floor. The janitors have to pick up everything that you drop on the floor. Please consider them and care for them and be kind, just like you're kind to your friends. Look how she cleans and takes care of everything that's in the cafeteria. When it's time to leave, and go to your class, remember to sit down in your lines on the blue straight line. Use a voice that is quiet, an inside voice, a whispering voice when you're leaving to exit the cafeteria. Look at them, these amazing whispering voices from this class. In the cafeteria, you can make a difference. Look at all the students have made a difference this year following the rules in the cafeteria staying in their seat, using their inside voice, lining up correctly, you could be chosen to make a difference too. Remember, the cafeteria ladies are making very healthy food for your body. They're making fruits and vegetables and whole grain products, and dairy products such as milk. Remember to say thank you the cafeteria ladies. When you play baseball, if you miss the ball, that's a strike. In the cafeteria, you can receive a strike also. If you are not following the rules, the teacher will write your name on one of the strike papers that are in front of you.
On the back of the strike tickets is a place to put your name and your teacher's name. If you are not following the rules in the cafeteria, you will receive a strike ticket. If you receive three strike tickets in one week, you will have to sit out for five minutes on the funnest day of the week, Friday Fun Day. Every student, every day can make a difference. You can make a difference too. Follow the rules and you can make a difference in the world.